Hey, thanks to your guys' support of my videos, I'm over halfway towards getting monetized on YouTube. If you like what you see, and want some more helpful obsidian or productivity content in the future, please consider subscribing. It's free, and I'd appreciate it a ton. Anyways, onto the video. In this video, I'll share some of the minor tweaks, note-taking strategies, and community plugins I use to make my obsidian vault look a bit nicer. If you're new to Obsidian and are looking for ways to spice up the basic default vault, be sure to watch until the very end. If you're experienced with Obsidian, you might only find use in the plugin section of the video, so feel free to skip to that part if you know the basics. If you're still here, then the first thing we can do to make the program look nicer is, well, change the actual program. We can do this using community themes and our personal creativity. To look at what themes are available, head to settings, appearance, then browse and there will be various light and dark mode themes to choose from that can match your color and aesthetic preferences. You can simply go shopping and download a bunch of them, then try each one out for a bit, seeing which ones you might prefer more. I will note that different ones can change more than just the color and font through the CSS features of the creators. The settings page may look different, headers might be of different colors, and the toolbar might be hidden when not in use. If you're fine with tinkering around with a bit or are familiar with CSS, you can also customize the themes other people make or simply create your own. In my case, I took the 80s neon theme and made the main background colors completely dark for better nighttime usage. Aside from themes, you can also move and alter the sidebars to have your own personal setup going. In my case, I like to split my left section into two, putting my graph at the top and my starred folders at the bottom. On the right, I like to include visually pleasing plugins like Calendar and Day Planner. More on that later. If you want something similar to the workspace I feature on my videos, you can also make the application translucent so your desktop background blends in a bit. Then, if you have some extra cash on hand, you can buy Wallpaper Engine on Steam to have access to various animated wallpapers. Now that our interface looks a bit nicer, we can work on making our actual notes look nice. If you don't like the look of tags and fields at the top of your notes, you can use YAML headers to hide them so they don't show on preview mode. Next, I would recommend becoming familiar with the markdown language Obsidian uses so you can easily use quote blocks, highlights, code snippets, or the traditional bolds and italics to add some flair to your text. For arranging actual content, be sure to make the most out of the six layers of headings available to keep things organized, and don't be afraid to break down sections into smaller notes if needed. With the infinite expansion capabilities of Obsidian, I'd rather have multiple atomic size notes than one huge wall of text. Lastly, some extra quirky practices include embedding other notes straight into the page and changing the display name of link notes to better flow with text. That's pretty much all I can think of for note-taking practices, so I guess it's time to check out community plugins that help further customize and add features for visual enhancement. The five plugins I'm about to mention won't completely renovate your workspace, but coupling some of your favorite ones together can help personalize your notes into your own style. First off is the Admonition plugin, which helps add block-style content into Obsidian. They look like code snippets on edit mode, but look quite clean on preview mode. Simply create one using the command, and you can choose things like the icon, label, and collapse settings of the block. You can even create your own admonition blocks, mixing and matching icons and colors. Second is a calendar plugin, which is a nice visual for the side of your obsidian vault. Not only does it look nice, it can also act as a way to easily access your daily or weekly notes. Third are emoji plugins like Emoji Toolbar and Emoji Shortcodes, which makes the process of adding emojis more convenient, especially if you're using obsidian on your desktop. If you want something more simple, there's also an icons plugin that gives you a wide selection of icons to implement into your text. Fourth is the mind map plugin, which turns your linear note and its different headings and lines into a flowchart visual. It can act as an abstract table of contents if you copy the screenshot of the preview, 
or it can just be a nice little way to look at the bigger picture of your notes. Last but not least is the Excalidraw plugin, which can be used super creatively if you have good drawing skills. Unfortunately, that, that does not apply to me. This plugin allows you to create drawings which can then be embedded into your note for banners, headers, decorations, etc. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Thanks for watching until the very end. I hope the video has helped you find some neat ideas to implement into your Obsidian Vault, as things can look a bit dull and boring in the very beginning. When you're done customizing the appearance of the program, I would recommend you check out the videos I have for Obsidian workflows, like how I manage and plan all my tasks and projects in Obsidian, or how I use Obsidian as my bullet journal. Also, I'm running out of video ideas, so please leave a comment if you have any topics or workflows you're interested in. Anyways, if you found my advice to be helpful, be sure to like and share this video, and subscribe for more Obsidian and productivity related content. This has been John Maverick, stay mindful.